Hello, Milagro. How are you? Hi, Christian. How are you doing? How's everything? Hi, teacher. I'm Hello. Fine. Everything Hi, good? Teacher. Hi, Milagro. How are you? Hi. Hi, Christian. Hola, Milagro. Hi, Milagro. How is, how is your day going? ¿Cómo les está yendo? Super bien? Everything good? Super good. Nice, nice, nice. That is good to hear. Milagro, ¿cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? Muy bien. Lleno, nice. de, lleno de qué hacer es. Excelente, pero mejor así no se siente. <laughs> so that is super nice. When you have a lot of things to do, cuando siento ya son las cinco. So super, super eh. good. Ah, oh, yeah, I like it better. I like it definitely better. All right. So, thank you. Que, every... que, se, que se han hecho todos. Solo estamos tres. Solo estamos well, nosotros. Pues, yeah, son las ocho tres. Well, I, think, <laughs> I believe they are coming. What happens is that uh, remember that it's raining a lot. So, that may be like a reason. Oh, yeah, they are coming. Hello. So, they are coming here. Okay, okay. So, well, to get us started, anyways, I'm going to start by sharing my screen. Hi, Doris. Hi, teacher. Nice to see you, Doris. Thank you so much for joining today. How are you? Mm, I'm very cansada. Oh, very tired. Tired. Very tired. Media a mi casa. ¿A qué hora llegó? What time? A las siete y media. Why? Seven thirty. Why seven thirty? Ah, oh, because of the rain. Me imagino como hay más lluvia, hay más tráfico también. I don't know. Había what happened. choque, había lluvia. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Okay. Sí. No, but but eh, hopefully puedes cansar un poquito and uh, I know today is Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> well, nos falta un poquito. We are missing some days, but but anyways, you know, no sé por qué pensé que era jueves, you know. I thought that it was Thursday, and tomorrow was Friday. So, anyways, yeah, I know that happens sometimes. So, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, ¿Quién más? Veo cinco, but I don't see the next person. Hey, Edith, hello, hello, hello. Nice to have you today. Thank you so much for joining. Okay. Uh, this is session Oops. number 18, hello, and uh, today is August the 26th. Solo nos faltan dos más, and we are super done. Uh, today we have participants, we'll be able to describe location, vamos a usar the reason that are, vamos a describir también some places. We are going to work with some vocabulary for describing places as well. So just my, my reminders of every single day, please help me with your cameras, and your homework, okay? So your homework is if se puede el examen, right? And uh, al menos podemos avanzar. You can start working on it a little bit. Uh, to get started today, we have here some vocabulary that we are going to be working with, okay? So, so we are going to describe uh, some places. Give me a second. Uh, I lost my vocabulary. I lost my vocabulary. Uh, okay. So let me share my screen one more time. <laughs> I believe that you are familiar with some of this vocabulary. Maybe some others are new to you, but either way, let's take a look. Uh, first, vamos a repetir. Let's repeat so we can practice pronunciation. Beautiful. 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 Mm -hmm. Tell me something that is beautiful. Díganme algo que es bonito. Tell me something that is beautiful. For you, obviously, for you. Mountain. Uh huh. Mountains. Yes. Dogs. Dogs. Okay. The beach. The beach. All right. What else? Beautiful. Something beautiful. Yourself, come on. <laughs> Your children, you know. The sunset. Ah, the sunset. My mom, yes, my mom as well, exactly. Crowded. Mm -hmm. Let's repeat. Crowded. 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 
crowded. crowded. Yes. What is the meaning of crowded? For example, when you go to the beach in on on vacation, okay, when you go to El Mahawal, and it's like this, okay. <laughs> so that is crowded. Tell me places that are crowded. What places are, are crowded? When you go to Metro Centro, for example, I saw the pictures. Yo vi las fotos de ayer. I saw the pictures and it was crowded, okay? Uh, what else? Um, Give me examples of crowded the, places. The church. En la the feria. Church. Yes, all right. Ya no hay, but yes, consuma, right? If you ever went to Consuma, wow, Consuma was crowded. Mm -hmm. Any other? Los, eh, mm. the, the bus, the crowded. Bus, yeah, buses are crowded, exactly. Concerts. Concerts. Uh -huh. Have you ever gone to a concert? ¿Alguna vez han ido a un concierto? Yes. Yes, yes. Oh. for example, yes. I have never, nunca he ido. Give me examples of... The concerts you have been to. The Sin Bandera. Oh. Sin Banderas. Okay. Sin Mark Anthony. Mark, wow, Mark Anthony. <laughs> oh, you got to my art. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay. The Mana. Wow, Mana. Mana. Really nice, nice. I want to go what, to Mago de Oz maybe, or in English, right? <laughs> so that's crowded, right? Full of people. That's the meaning. Next one. Let's pronounce this. Dirty. 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 Second, pro second pronunciation. Dirty. 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 Mm -hmm. dirty or dirty. For me, it's easier, dirty, so dirty, okay? <laughs> but if you want to say dirty, it's okay, it's okay. So tell me examples of dirty places. What places are dirty? The beach. What is the beach, okay, the beach. Dirty, like- The public bathroom. My shirt. Dirty, the Centro Historico. Centro Historico, all right, so Centro Historico is dirty. Buses, okay. My One house. Park. <laughs> that park. The okay. beach. The beach. Yes. Dirty. So there is a lot of garbage. Yep, there is a lot of garbage. Next, empty. 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 Okay. So empty. 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 When there is nothing. Okay. My refrigerator is empty. <laughs> So there is nothing, all right? Empty means vacío. So there is nothing, okay? Like you can say... Uh, the tank the, is... The, uh, excuse me, Christian? The tank. The tank? Yes. Ah, okay. Like for gas, when you get gas, it is empty, exactly. Or when we have, for example, containers, cuando tenemos containers de agua. Oh, you can say, oh, it is empty, all right? So the bottle of water is empty. ¿Qué más puede estar empty? Y eso aplica también con, con lugares. Y you can use it for places too. Oh, the, this place Como is que empty. Como está, que está vacío de gente. Está vacío, correcto. Yes. Ah, okay. So it is empty. So it can be containers or it can be people. So that is empty. Mm -hmm. All right. Or you can also say, oh, mi billetera, my wallet is empty. So, <laughs> there is nothing. Okay, so empty, all right? Uh, that is the idea of empty. Next one, expensive. Let's repeat, expensive. 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 So, what is, tell me uh, some places that you have visited that are expensive. What places are expensive? Places my house. Um, that you say, don't go. Place. My house expensive. Oh, your house is expensive. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. I mean, uh, pay the, the, the car BMW expensive. That's a very good example. <laughs> hey. Yeah. What do you say, Milagro? My car. My car. Yes. My car. My Audi. <laughs> I love Audi. No. BMW. Uh-huh. BMW are expensive. Exactly. 
So BMWs are expensive. Houses in El Salvador, houses are so expensive, right? Yes or no? Houses are expensive. Yes. yes. Houses yes. are super expensive in El Salvador. What else? What else is expensive? Uh, oh. Tony Romans? Is Tony Romans expensive? Or yes. No? Mm. Yes. Oh, so so. No. Not too much. Not too much. Okay. No. El bodegón. El bodegón. La pampa. Sí, es así. No. Uh -huh. Okay. El bodegón. So, el bodegón is expensive. La pampa, you said. Is yes. la pampa expensive? Yes. yes. Okay. La hacienda okay. real también. La hacienda real. Sí, es hacienda real. Expensive. Oh, Hacienda Real is expensive. What is Hacienda yes. Real? Or where? Where is Hacienda Real? Street, uh, front, uh, front, uh, la Gran Vía. Gran Vía. In front Gran of Vía. No, también en frente de la Gran Vía. In front, front, uh, Cascadas. Uh, Cascadas. In front of Cascadas, Hacienda Real. But street, Hacienda... Uh, street, uh, 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 Canal 12, Canal 12. Uh, Pizza it, Hut. What, what is the name of the street, Milero? It is on the street. A la, a la parte de la Pizza Panamericana. Hut. Panamericana. <laughs> it is on yes. Panamericana street. street. But that is not Miranda, right? We are not talking about Hacienda no. Miranda. Okay. Maybe I have confused oh. them. But it is expensive. Okay. <laughs> uh, then we have large. Okay. So that is large. Like B. Okay. Large. large. Exactly. So some places are really large or really big, okay? I like the next word. This is messy. No Leonel Messi, but this is messy, uh -huh, messy. What is the meaning of messy? Give me examples of messy places. Messy. What places? Mi cuaderno. <laughs> my, not, my notebook, okay, my notebook is messy. My notebook messy. Okay, your notebook is messy. What else? Give me examples of messy. My phone. Your phone is messy? Okay, okay. Uh, my room is messy right now, so <laughs> I haven't cleaned that much. So messy. What is the meaning of messy, Christian? Sucio. Um, not really. Mm -hmm. Desordenado. Desordenado, exactly. Desordenado. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So messy is like. Sí, eso le iba a preguntar la diferencia entre messy y dirty. Yeah, so it's not necessarily dirty. Remember, a room, for example, un, un cuarto, una habitación, puede estar limpia, all right, pero es ordenada. <laughs> so it's different, okay? So okay. messy is como desorden. So messy. Mm -hmm. So you can. Make My closet? Your closet, okay, yeah. So and, and we have a chair also. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know you guys, pero todos tenemos una sillita, right? So we have a chair for the clothes, okay? <laughs> yeah, so messy, disorder, all right, disordenado. A modern. So let's repeat. Modern. modern. My mom. Mm -hmm. So modern, like moderno, right? New. New. No. Mm -hmm. New, this is more easy. And the last one, noisy. 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 Ruidoso, exactly. Mi risa. Mi risa. La risa es Y se ríe para que le creamos. But that is a good example. You will never forget it. So you listen to Gisela, you listen to her laugh. And then you listen noisy. Oh, I got it. Okay. <laughs> so no, la, okay. La, risa, la risa de Gerson. Gerson. Una <laughs> risa, Isela. Okay, una bomba. La risa de Gerson. Okay. No, I mean, some people are really noisy, right? So, uh, uh, what else? Cars are noisy. Uh, motorcycles are noisy. What else is noisy? Give me examples of noisy things. Or people, noisy people also that counts. Come the on. traffic. The traffic, yes. Traffic the music. music. The music. Okay, especially. The like train. The? Is it? The, uh, the car's horn. The horns, okay, the car horns. Creo que sí iba a decir algo, pero no lo escuché. I couldn't hear her. The train. 
The train, okay. A train, mm -hmm. also the rain. So mm -hmm. the lluvia, rain is very noisy. The train is very noisy. Um, and a lot of things are very noisy, right? So that is quite fine. Questions with vocabulary or are we super good, super good? No questions? No? ¿Qué son estas palabras, teacher? They are called... They, uh, you can see here, it says a DJ. So this is adjective. They are adjectives. Adjectivos. All of them are adjectives. So adjectivos that means... Adjectivos calificativos. Mm -hmm. Yes, most of the adjectives son calificativos, but we call them adjectives. What happens is that an adjective in English nos da una descripción. And today, vamos a describir. We are going to be describing things. Something important with these words is the next. In Spanish, I can say que la casa, um, la, what? la casa bonita, por ejemplo. So I use the adjective after. In English, we are going to do the opposite. El adjetivo siempre va antes, right? A beautiful house, a beautiful place, a beautiful person, a messy room. So siempre vamos a usar el adjetivo antes. That is going to be quite a word. Okay, now listen up. Uh, it says here, describe how my and other working places and areas look like, all right? And we have a description. Read the description of Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar workplaces. Can you guess where they work? So I have not heard today. Madeline, you are so quiet today. Madeline, help me read Mr. Paz's description, please. Read it for me. There is a beautiful lobby. Mm -hmm. There are comfortable rooms. Mm -hmm. There's a parking lot. Mm -hmm. There are three high pitch elevators. Mm -hmm. Super, super good. That's okay. So, what is the place? Do you have any idea? There is a beautiful lobby. So, you see a uh, hotel. A hotel. Uh huh. Yes. There is a huge, everybody, let's repeat huge. 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 What, what, is, what is the meaning of huge? Huge. huge. What is the I meaning? No. Uh huh. Any idea? Help me. What is the meaning? <laughs> Gran parqueo. But huge is like enorme, all right? Sí, enorme, parqueo. Yes, yeah, so huge. It's not only big, pero sino like enorme. When you say, huge. wow, this is, for example, huge. I'm going to parqueo. tell you my experience. The first time, the, the first, the very first time I went to EPA, I said, wow, <laughs> this is huge, okay? So because it's very, very large. So huge is muy grande, all right? Uh, and there are three high-tech elevators. So high-tech son como lo último, la última generación, high-tech elevators. Um, next one, Mr. Aguilar. Eh, Wendy, hi, Wendy. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Hi, Caro. Hi. Thank you so much for joining. Hi, Diana. Nice to see you today. Welcome, girls. Wendy, help me read Mr. Aguilar, please. Uh, there is a narrow reception area. No sé cómo se dice area. Area, yes, area. Area, area. Mm -hmm. correct. There are two dirty dining room. Yes. There is an ugly, an ugly for a coffee center. Uh -huh. There are a small office. Okay, thank you. So let's look at this. New vocabulary, narrow. We okay. have large. And the opposite is narrow. Okay, so narrow. There is a narrow reception area. There are two dirty dining rooms. There is an ugly photocopy center and there are small offices. Tell me, what is the place? Give me, give me some ideas. What is the place? Mm -hmm. There is a narrow reception uh, area. Clinica. Maybe a clinic. Uh -huh. 
Uh huh. Okay, maybe a clinic. There are two dirty dining rooms. Two dirty dining rooms, and there is an ugly photocopy center. Maybe yes, maybe a clinic. What is the meaning of ugly? What is yeah. ugly? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The opposite yeah. of beautiful, exactly. So ugly, right? Okay, and that's where they work. Now, we have some exercises. Read the information again to answer the questions and compare with a classmate. How does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? How does Miss Aguilar think about her workplace? And on which of the two places do you want to work? I'm going to show you the reading one more time. So pay attention, remember the questions, and then you will answer. So let me show you this. Only 30 seconds, read it, read the vocabulary, pay notes, always pay notes of new vocabulary, please. Narrow, okay. ¿qué dijo que, que significaba? Perdón. Mm -hmm. Narrow is eh, like estrechito, all right? Like, not small, no es pequeño, but narrow, es como estrecho, all right? When you okay. don't have too much space. Mm -hmm. Gracias. You are welcome. So now, try to answer this. How does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? ¿Qué palabras usó para describir el lugar donde trabaja? What words did he use? I'll give you one minute. Dice que tiene un lobby bello, bonito, mm -hmm. confortable. Okay. Ah, in English. Con gran in English. Oh, very good, very good. Now, transform it in English. Make it in English. You got it. You got the answers. Ahora solo hagámoslo en inglés. Beautiful lobby. Beautiful lobby, yes. Rooms comfort comfortable. Mm -hmm. Comfortable, very good, yes. Parking, parking oh, a huge parking. Yes, excellent. Yes. yes, that is the description. Very good. Now, the next, what does Miss Aguilar think about her workplace? ¿Qué dijo? What did she say? Sylvia, is that you? There is a new reception area. Okay, so there is a reception area. Okay, a narrow, right? Como una estrechita. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> there are two dirty din rooms. Okay, yes. And there is a small office. Okay, very good. There is a small office. Dirty dining rooms. Y había algo más. There was something else con ugly. Does anybody remember ugly? No. Ugly photocopy center. Photocopy. Super good. Exactly. So ugly photocopy center. So there is an ugly photocopy center. All right. And that is the, the description. Okay. That we have for these uh, places where they work. Now I got a question for you. What about your places? ¿Cómo describirían a su lugar de trabajo? All right. How do you describe your working places? Or 
como ahora estamos desde la casa algunos, ¿cómo describirían el área de trabajo in your houses? How do you describe your working area? So there is a beautiful, I don't know, maybe a beautiful view, all right? For example, in my house, there is a beautiful view to the street. <laughs> uh, there is a comfortable chair and there is a um, narrow uh, desk for my computer. Uh, there is, I don't know, maybe that's it. So I have like my, my little, little office, all right? So, but normally, normally, how do you describe your place? I am going to give you like three, four minutes. Escribamos rapidito. ¿Cómo describirían su lugar de trabajo? How do you describe your working area? ¿Qué le pondrían? You can use this. Oh, there is a beautiful lobby. There is an ugly lobby. There is a narrow lobby. Or uh, anything that you can add, all right? I'll give you some minutes. If you find your vocabulary, si encontramos por ahí vocabulario nuevo, all right, and that you think is interesting, compártelo en el chat. You can write it in the chat so everybody can take a look and can say, ah, también en mi trabajo, right? So also in my workplace. So let's go ahead for minutes. For four minutes. Sorry, guys, solo déjenme ver si estoy grabando. No, oh, yes, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I got worried just a second. Okay. Si tienen dudas con pronunciación, like any pronunciation there, let me know. Y, y así revisamos. We can check it as well. So when you feel ready, tell me, teacher, ready, and we can start practicing. Remember, the idea is to describe all the working areas. Okay, so um, part of the of the question here is which places are you? Um, which places can you find? Okay, like in your company or in your home office, and then how does your working area look like? So does it look clean, crowded, messy, dirty? So you can use all those words, and don't forget, el adjetivo siempre va primero. So there is a beautiful this, there is a comfortable this, there is a big this, siempre va primero. It always goes first.
teacher. Yes, yes, mi lady. Eh, con respecto a lo que acaba de decir, yo, yo puse, there is nice weather. Está bien. There is, is nice yes, weather. Yes, yes. Yeah, solo vamos a agregarle, there is a, there is a nice weather. Lo demás está súper bien. There is, there is a comfortable room. Mm -hmm. Yep, there is a, com a comfortable o confortable, se puede pronunciar de ambas formas. Comfortable o confortable. Confortable, right? Yes, confortable or comfortable. Yep. Y fotocopiadoras en plural. Um, here you have it here in the example. It says photocopy. ugly photocopy center. So you can make it plural. Photocopy centers. Pero si estoy hablando sola, mm, o sea, yo entiendo que es por el copy center es como un centro de copia, o no, fotocopiadora es por el copy center. Eh, yeah, or the photocopy place, a photocopy. No, you can use photocopy, there is an ugly photocopy, but it looks weird. Photocopy machine, if you want to be very, very specific. Mm. So that can a photocopy machine. Por ejemplo, en mi lugar de trabajo, there are a lot of photocopies. Eso quería decir. Entonces, a lot of photocopy machines. Machines, y ese machine sería en plural. Okay. Yes. Photocopy now. The one that is plural is machine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Welcome. Are you almost ready? Almost, almost ready. Do you need more time? One minute, two minutes, one hour. <laughs> How much time do you need? Um, okay, thank you, Edith. So Edith is ready, nice, nice. Anybody else? Please give me your confirmation when you are ready. Um, okay, okay, guys. Uh, let me see. I think I have just another one. Yes. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you for the confirmation. Super good. So let's just repeat. All right. Solo before going. All right. Before practicing, let's repeat. Beautiful. 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 Okay. Beautiful. Now, comfortable. 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 One more time. Comfortable. 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 Second pronunciation. Comfortable. 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 Mm -hmm. Next. Huge. 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 Mm -hmm. Huge. Yes. Huge. Next. Narrow. 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 That's a stretcher, right? Next. Dirty. Dirty. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, ugly. 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 And ugly. small. 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 Mm -hmm. So small is pequeñito and narrow is como estrecho, right? So pretty much those are the ones. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much. I'm going to create some groups so you can go ahead and practice with your classmates. Uh, the idea is to tell them how is your company how do you describe it? Okay. And uh, so practice as much as possible. Give me just a quick second here. Mm -mm -mm. So just let me check something. Uh, uh -uh. Hold on, hold on. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, there we go. Okay, everybody. So I have invited you to go to um, to a little practice there. So you will have only five minutes to describe your places, practice vocabulary, practice pronunciation, and then I will see you back. So let's go. Five minutes, everybody. Join the group, please. Okay. Uh, oh, yes, mm -hmm. sí. My work play is the field for me is, is very nice. Uh, for the company that's a work for is very small and the parking of the car is very uh, ¿Cómo se dijo que se pronuncia? Uh, estrecho. Tingene. Narrow. 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 Okay. That's not. Next. Okay. Hi. <laughs> hi. Uh, hi. Good evening. Good evening. Jacira, nice to see you. No la había saludado. How are you? Hi, teacher. And you? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm super, super good. Give me just a second. I have someone trying to join. I'll be right back. Give me a second. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello. Hey, girl. Where do you work, Diana? La dirección. No, ¿a dónde? El, el, o el nombre. Eh, ajá, ¿en dónde trabajas? Eh, Euro Salvadoreña. Euro Salvadoreña. Ah, ok. Ok. It's a, a, a medical eh, supplies. Maybe. Yeah. Etc. 
sí. Tiene freeze. Hello. No hello. Buena Hola. señal, se me está cortando. Ah, ok. Queda así. It's a, it, it, your work is a, um, medical supplies. Eh, vende, sería sell medical supplies. No, se trabó. Medical equipment supplies. Ay, sí, pero solo la línea quirúrgica. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Hi, guys. Good evening. Hey. How are you? How are you doing? Everything good? Good. Yes, good. Nice. And you, teacher? I'm okay. Every, everything is good so far. Everything is really, really good. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, guys, how are you doing here with the practice? I see um, we got Diana also. All right, Christian. Hi, Diana. Nice to see you. Uh, okay, so <laughs> pretty tell much. Tell me my describe for, to, for my workplace. Oh, yes, please. Go ahead. Okay, and there is a small parking lot mm -hmm. and there are very comfortable office okay. and there is a dirty cellar. Do you know what is cellar? Cellar? What, what's the meaning cellar? Do you know, teacher? What a is cellar? cellar? Uh, yes. Yes. Wait, uh, is my microphone on? Yes, it's like, but I'm not sure if you mean the place, for example, where people store uh, bottles. Um, where do you work? You work in a factory, right? Yes, but what do cellar you mean? for me is bodega. Like a, like a warehouse. Uh, bodega. Maybe, warehouse, maybe, warehouse. Maybe you can use warehouse. Warehouse. Yes, warehouse. yeah, because cellar is different. Maybe a cellar is it's dirty. It's, it's yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Cellar es como entonces como almacén para yeah. tener. Yeah, para kind tener. of, kind of. Pero normalmente cellar Pero, es como para vinos, you know, y cosas así, el que está bajito. Pero no, una warehouse. Y en la warehouse sí es la bodega donde usted mete herramientas, mete de todo, you know. So, uh, ajá, that's a low. warehouse. Entonces eso ya es técnico. Yes, and you will learn the vocabulary. Lo van a aprender. Later. Wow. Don't worry. <laughs> Después van a aprender técnico. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last one, there are two offices with a high tech machines. Okay, very good, very good. Do, do you like do you like your the offices? Yes, it's a re I really like no. my office. All right, okay, sounds super good. Thank you so 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 much. Uh, hi, Diana. No sé si nos Hola. Oh yes, you're back. You're back. Hello. Hola. Hello, nos logra escuchar, Diana. Hola, hola. Sí. Oh, se me corta. Sí, así le escucho también. Tengo, un una, tengo la señal bien fea. Un poquito cortado, pero no se preocupe, igual. I mean, yo sí le escucho. I can hear you. That's all right. So, tell us about your workplace. Cuéntenos un poquito de su, de su lugar de trabajo. Hola. Hola. Hi, Diana. Ah, Diana, nosotros le escuchamos. We can hear you. Solamente creo que hay un poquito de lagging. Entonces, maybe you can tell us. Nos puede hablar, you know, y nosotros sí le escuchamos. We can hear you. Creo 
que se le trabó, ¿verdad? Right? Sí, mejor es Gerson. Ah, ok, Gerson, okay. Gerson. Eh, ok, eh. Lo dejo un segundito, déjenme ver. In my Somewhere work. Is... Ok. ¿Cómo dice? Sí. Ay, good evening. Spanish teacher. <laughs> Why? I just heard soltar la lengua, so I'm like, what? <laughs> Okay, how are you? Hi Silvia, nice to see you. Me alegra mucho verla ya. Ya bien, you know, sonriente and everything. So happy to see you, Mr. Pucha. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Nice, nice, nice to see you guys. Okay, guys, so tell us about your working areas. Where do you work? What, are, what about your working areas? Edith, you work for Feed the Children, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Silvia, where do you work? I know that Mr. Mursa works for Valdez. And you? I work in the com industrial company. Industrial company. Mm. Elemento industrial. Mm, okay. And, and what is your area? Are you in production? In the activities mm -hmm. of the IC. Uh, yeah, what type of activities or what is the area? In que area está? What's like your your area? Administration. Ah, you are administrative. Okay, okay, okay. So you work in what? Like in building, in purchasing, mm. or in, or in customer service. Mm. Trabaja en atención al cliente. Do you work in customer no. service? No. Okay. So, uh, how do you describe your area? Creo que se, se me ofreció. Yeah, right. Sí, se, se ofreció. Ajá, uh -huh, se me ofreció. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> estoy esperando que baje el brazo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I see you now. I see you now, Silvia. Sorry, se me había quedado por ahí Okay, so, so, okay, so you work in administrative. Describe me your area, please. How is your okay. area like? Mm -hmm. In my workplace, I see there is a small area. Mm -hmm. There is very noisy. Ah, okay. There is a uh, comfortable. Mm -hmm. In this area, there is a picture. Okay. There is a print, print printer. Uh huh, a printer. And that's it. Okay, super good, super good. Okay, guys, I have another exercise for you before you move on. And this is going to be this one. So we are talking about vocabulary. Estamos describiendo a little bit. So I want you to take a look at this picture. Veamos esta foto. Yes. Please, tomale una screenshot, take a screenshot, take a picture if you are in the computer. And vamos a hacer una presentación. We are going to make a little presentation. What I want you to do is this. Estamos hablando de areas. This is an industrial area, right? And, but you see a lot of people. So vamos a utilizar adjetivos. You are going to use a lot of adjectives. And you are going to use vocabulary. There is and there are para describir lo que ustedes ven en esta picture, ¿ok? So, tienen 10 minutos, you have 10 minutes para preparar su, su eh, presentación. Y luego la vamos a presentar, ¿all right? So, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Go ahead. Oh. Wait, I, I, I'm going to leave you alone for some seconds. Lugares están cerca de tu trabajo, ¿verdad? Hi, sí. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. ¿Cómo vamos? Ya que se terminan. Are you about to finish? Sí, ya. Yeah. Oh, you're done. Okay, super good. So, I have another activity for you. And this is going to be the following. We are working, we are talking about working areas. And, you know, hay diferentes tipos de empleos. All right? Imagine that you are a lifeguard. Si fuera un salvavidas, this would be your working area. So, it would be super different, all right? Maybe, si fuera, por ejemplo, policía de turismo, this would be your working area, all right? O si trabajara, like, in a hotel at the beach, 
Ese sería el lugar de trabajo, right? So, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Based on this picture, vamos a describirla, vamos a presentarla, all right? Como si esta fuera su working area, como si ustedes trabajaran acá. Super good, right? I would love to work in this place, mm -hmm. near the beach. Ok, so vamos a describir qué es lo que hay. What can you see in this picture, all right? Of course, using the vocabulary. For example, there is a beautiful view. There is a comfortable chair near the, the, the lake or near the ocean. Narrow, um, ugly, ok. So the idea is to use all the vocabulary we can. There is an awesome hotel, a very expensive hotel here at the beach. So vamos a presentarlo, okay? Tenemos 10 minutitos. You have 10 minutes para practicarla, you know, to prepare a presentation. Todos van a participar, obviously. Everybody will be uh, presenting. And uh, so tomémosle una picture. Take a picture, please. If you are in the computer, tomémosle una captura. So take a screenshot. And uh, so we can we can start working on this. ¿De la tenemos? Do we have it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Are we clear? Estamos claritos lo que vamos a hacer. Are you clear on what we are going to do? Sí, vamos a decir, digamos, hay este mucho muchos hoteles, mm -hmm. hay este eh, algunos algunos botes. Exactly, exactly. Eh, eh, hay algunas eh, sillas de descanso. Digamos. Exactly, super, super good. So imagine okay. for a second que cambian como su área de trabajo, all right, y van a trabajar en esta zona. I would love to. <laughs> Yo sí la cambio. <laughs> all right, so uh, you have 10 minutes. Preparemos. Tenemos que decir y tenemos que decir eh, como dar una introducción o solo decir lo que hay. Um, ustedes pueden decir como somos y pueden pensar en un empleo que estaría acá. Por ejemplo, somos tourist guides. Somos guía de turistas, right? We are tourist okay. guides and we work in Miami Beach. <laughs> Or we are tourist guides and we work in, I don't know. This looks like La Libertad, right? <laughs> no, so you can, you can, I mean, you can be creative. Pueden ser muy creativos. You can be creative. All right. Okay. I'll come back to you. Eh, si tienen dudas, remember, hay un botoncito que dice ayuda. O si hay algo que no está claro, let me know. Okay? I'll see you in a minute. In 10 minutes. I'll see you in 10 minutes. What up? What up? Hello, everybody. How are you? Fine, fine. Fine, fine. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> are, are you finished? Are you done? Yes. 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 Did everybody practice? Yes. Yes. Super good. Now, I have an activity for your group. And the activity is this. For just a minute. Well, here we have people. Um, let me think. Uh, for example, Doris is an accountant, right? Doris? No, business administrator. Ah, I thought you were an accountant. Okay, so Doris is a business no. administrator. Uh, Francisco, what do you do? Yes, accountant. You, ah, you are the accountant. <laughs> so Francisco is an accountant. Uh, Isela, what do you do? I'm a manager. You are a manager. But your company is wine, right? Yes. A wine, okay, in a wine company. Yasira, uh, what do you do, Yasira? Hey, oh, you work in sales. I remember. Sí. Yes, I remember you work in sales. For a minute, imagine that your working area is not an office, that your working area is totally different. So, your activity is going to be here, okay, out in the, in the forest. Imagine for a second that your job is what? Maybe a zookeeper, maybe trabaja en el zoológico, right? Maybe you are, a, I don't know, a police officer, okay? Maybe a biologist, all right? ¿Qué otro empleo puede trabajar afuera? I'm sorry, Francisco? Guardabosques. 
Okay, exactly, exactly, exactly. So what we are going to do is this. We are going to prepare a short presentation, all right, sobre esta working area. Si fueran, si trabajaran en este lugar, so que verían, okay, what would be your working area? Imagine, for example, that you are a sheriff, let's say, and this is your working area, or, mm -hmm. or a zookeeper, y este fue un zoológico. So there are a lot of beautiful animals, for example, there are some big uh, deer and there are some small, I don't know, there is a big giraffe. So the idea is to use the vocabulary and use there is and there are. So you can take a picture, le pueden tomar una foto, all right? Yes. Be creative, all right? Sean creativos. Uh, and imagine that this is your new job and your new working area. Okay, so nuevo lugar de trabajo. You're not in an office anymore, sino que eh, trabajan afuera, right? You are going to be working outside. I will give you eh, 10 minutes para que preparemos una presentación. Uy, una presentación entre todos. Okay, I will give you some minutes. Y luego presentamos. Then we present. Are we good? Are we clear? Yes. Yes. Eh, okay. Solo consulta. Eh... Simplemente vamos a armar esto y lo vamos a contar entre todos o vamos a decir la actividad de cada quien no, dentro no. del zoológico. No, imagine, imagine, for example, that todos son compañeros, you are all co-workers, you work in the same place, all right? So es como, ¿qué hay en ese lugar? What can you find in that place? Um, it's like, like, como si todos trabajamos en el mismo ambiente, right? In the same working area. So, lo único que podemos hacer es tomar como turnos, you know, take turns, para que dividamos, you know, en todos podamos participar. That's the only thing. All right. So, I let you work. Tenemos 10 minutos. And I believe that some of you ya usaron lo de ayuda, así que if you have any question, eh, hit the button. Eh, buscamos el botoncito que para pedir ayuda, right? <laughs> And okay. I'll be right back. Thank you, guys. Ahí está la teacher. Teacher. <laughs> teacher. Hello, girls. I'm coming for you. Hello, hello, hello. teacher. Tengo una pregunta. You? Yes. What is your question? Ah, uh, cuando cuando pongo en el traductor cacerola, la traducción me sale pan. Yes, that's correct. Y cuando pongo en Google pan, me sale bread. <laughs> ah, pero porque está, está en, uh, está buscando en Google. When you go to Google, lo está poniendo en español. Haga el cambio. Do the switching. Ah, tiene? porque yo ya hice el cambio y me sale siempre, abajo me sale bread, pero también me sale eh, cacerola. Yes. O sea. Pero Sorry. Ah, ya. Dice pan, cacerola, sartén, cazuela, platillo. Es que lo tenía al revés. <risa> lo tenía el idioma al revés. But yes, y pan, yes. sauces, sauces, pan, sauces, pan, pan, ajá, pan yeah. sauces, algo así leí. What happens is this. Remember that in Spanish we call cacerolas to everything. We say cacerola, cacerolita, cacerolota, right? <risa> in English, no. In English, cada herramienta, cada accesorio tiene un nombre, all right? So pan, es la cacerola, the normal one, que es como no tan alta, right? But mm -hmm. then está como una que es más honda, una que es más pachita, right? De sopa, digamos. Huevos. Oh, y esas son las pot. Entonces, you have to be careful. What I can recommend you is, cuando vaya a buscar una palabra específica, like for example that one, vaya a imágenes y vea cuál es la foto que corresponde a sospan. For example, um, ¿Cuál me dijo? Which one did you tell me? Eh, sauces, pan sauces, algo así leí. Give me a second. Pan sauce. Sauce pan. Okay. So, the difference is pretty much this. Look, this is a sauce pan. Ve mi, mi pantalla. Do you see my screen? No. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. So... The difference is this. Um, the type, okay, this is a saucepan. 
But this is a pun. It's on the Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bread. No. And we're cooking. No, no, it's not bread. Okay, this is a pun. This is a pun. And the other is a saucepan. So that if, what I can recommend you is, siempre que sea una palabra así específica, you know, mejor vaya a imágenes. So you can take a look y usted hace la diferencia como, ah, okay, son diferentes, all right? It's better okay. because Google lies. No le crean todo a Google. <laughs> Google lies okay, a lot. Sure. All right, girls. Creo que ya estamos kind of good, right? Ya casi terminamos, I believe. O ya terminamos, right? Yes. Okay, super good. So, imagine, uh, just for a second, all right, vamos a cambiar el working area. You are going to be changing the working area. Do you recognize the place? Where is this? This is in El Salvador. Do you recognize the place? No. No, okay. No yes. Plaza. Okay. This is Soyapango. <laughs> okay. So this is. Pero hace muchísimo, muchísimo año. This is the heart. En un día solo. This is the heart of Soyapango. <laughs> Imagine for a second that you change your working area. Que your working area ya no es una oficina. It's not an office anymore. Pero trabajan acá, you know, in Soyapango. Maybe you work in sales. Que se trabajan en ventas. All right. Maybe you are a distributor. Puede ser que sea un distribuidor de algo, all right? Maybe you work in, I don't know, insurance agent. Quizás tiene que ir a ofrecer seguros, all right? So change it just for a second. Lo que vamos a hacer es esto. Vamos a pensar en todo lo que hay, all right? En esta nueva working area. Por ejemplo, si le toca trabajar en Soya Pango, what can you see? ¿Qué es lo que pueden ver? ¿Qué hay en Soya Pango, all right? Or imagine, imagine for a second, que son como, I don't know, el alcalde, all right? The city major of Soyapango. So, ¿qué hay? The idea is this, number one. Vamos a usar todos los adjetivos que podamos, all right? Beautiful, ugly, narrow, large, small, eh, crowded, dirty, messy, etc. To describe the places. Preparemos una presentación en 10 minutitos, like super, super quick. Y luego vamos y la presentamos, all right? Con respecto a esa imagen, teacher. Yes, imagínense que usted trabaja en Soyapango, Milagro. Esa es su nueva working area. Ya no es la oficina, ya no es la empresa, right? But it is this new working area. So, vamos a presentarlo. We are going to present it. Tenemos 10 minutos. You can check ¿Qué manera lo vamos a presentar? Like, for example, um, hi, everyone. We work for... Uh, we work for... Uh, uh, let me see. For the city hall of Soyapango. So, trabajamos para la alcaldía. We work for the city hall of Soyapango. And we have to, and we are going to talk about everything that you can see there in Soyapango. Soyapango is a small city. There, uh, there are a lot of houses. Uh, there is a lot of traffic jam. And, well, there is a terrible traffic jam every single day um, around Moisa. So, <laughs> it is a very dirty city and a messy place. So, la idea es que utilizamos todo, right? Somos cuatro, okay. entonces podemos dividirlo como por pedacitos. And then we practice. Okay, okay. so I'll give you 10 minutes. Uh, um, Sandrita, nice to see you. Sorry, no la había saludado. Nice to see you today. <laughs> good night, good, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Eh, solo hágame un gran, gran favor. Eh, please, please. Le veo por ahí que dice el nombre del teléfono. Y... Sí, pero es que estoy intentando cambiarlo. Y no yo, no vaya, yo se lo cambio. Deme un segundito, porque si no, no me lo sí. va a registrar. ¿Cuál es su nombre completo, Sandra? Sandra Beatriz. Beatriz. Hernández Martínez. Hernández Martínez. Es que cuando me conecté quizás lo tenía que haber cambiado y no lo hice. Pero no se preocupe, ya estuvo. Ahí está. Sí, porque thank si no, you, teacher, no me lo registra. You. All right. Thank you. you thank you. You're okay, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Ten minutes. I'll let you work in ten minutes. ¿Dónde vamos a okay. trabajar, muchachas? La imagen. 
Es que puede ser en cualquier lugar de Soyapango, digamos, para describir Tra Soyapango entero. La trabajemos, pizza, digo, tra como trabajemos, ejemplo, trabajemos ahí en la pizza hut. Va, ahí ahí. La pizza. Entonces va a ser... O, son, o somos más ejecutivas y trabajamos en el Banco Salvadoreño. Yo trabajé 10 años ahí. Vaya, lo conoce bien. Eso nos puede ayudar. Ok, ahí entonces, en el Banco Salvadoreño. No sé. Pero vamos a describir realmente la ciudad de Soyapango. La ciudad, exacto. Bueno. Um, que, que, la, que la gente es eh, bien eh, amable ah, que, lo, lo, poner... que, somos, que los turistas los guías turísticos somos bien amables there is ¿verdad? a lot the, there is a lot a lot of hoteles hotel eh, there are eh, eh. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, guys. Guys, just a question. Let's assign a lugar. Did I give you a place? No. Ah, sí. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Um, estamos trabajando en la presentation. Are we working on the presentation? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, super. We good. are finished. Ah, oh, you're finished. Okay, yes. very, very nice. Solo denme un segundito, then give me just a quick second. Okay. Um, so in the meantime, what is what is the place I gave you? Just to check. ¿Qué lugar les di, chicos? What place did I give you? Eh, okay. No tenía nombre. Eh. I got it. I got it. Thank you. So okay. I'm looking somebody. Okay. Okay. Give me just a second. Está bien tranquila con eso. Hi, guys. Hola. Hi, teacher. Hi there. All right. Guys, Hi. les asigné el lugar. Did I give you a place? No. 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 I didn't give you a place. Aquí estuvimos platicando. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is my bad. This is my, my mistake. Se me fue por alto. All right. No worries. I'm going to give you a place. So, a todos les he asignado un lugar. I have given a place to these guys. Y vamos a describirlo. So, imagine for a second que no trabajan en una oficina. That you don't work in a, camp, in a factory. Okay. That you don't work in this place. Sino que cambiamos eh, a little bit your working area okay so i'm going to give you i'm going to show you a little picture here oh, give me a second so imagine that this is your working area do you see my screen no mm. no Give me a second. Uh, do you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, super good. So imagine, I mean, we work normally in an office, we work in the city, but for a second, imagine that you don't work in an office anymore, you don't work in the city anymore, sino que trabajan acá. So you work in this specific place. ¿Qué ocupaciones se les vienen a la mente? What jobs come to your mind? A farmer. Farmer, ok. Uh, What else? Because uh, there, there are um, plantaciones o, o mm -hmm. cultivos. Crops. Se dice? Crops. Y animales. Crops. Crops. Yeah. Hay un caballo por ahí. Okay. Sí, so, no. Imagine that you are a farmer. Imagine, uh -huh. that, <laughs> imagine that you are a vet. Pueden ser también veterinarios, right? So you can also be a vet. So, lo que vamos a hacer es describir este lugar. So, ¿qué podemos? What can you see here? So, ¿qué pueden ver? ¿De qué se rodean? All right. What is around you? Tenemos cinco minutos. We have like five minutes. Vamos a, pre a preparar una presentación cortita, all right? So, todos trabajan para la misma compañía. So, you can make it up. For example, oh, oh. we work for 
I don't know, we work for Avicola of El Salvador. And in this company, we produce chicken, eggs, and everything that comes from eggs. You can see a lot of chicken. <laughs> All right, so the idea is to use, there is, there are beautiful, narrow, small, fresh air, comfortable, dirty, todo lo que podamos, everything you can. Tenemos cinco minutos, you have five minutes. Uh, and we start now. So come in the picture, if you want to take a picture, practice the vocabulary, practice the pronunciation, y nos vemos en cinco. I'll see you in five. Ok, ok, entonces, entonces ¿qué era? Sería, era una... ser como, buenas noches, nosotros somos, ¿cómo? Mojus, algo así lo entendí. Ush, Ush. ok, entonces sería, de, there is a beautiful and, and hush play. Hi, Teacher, hi. I believe the Ay, word sir. is huge. 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 Yeah, so that is huge. Huge glass. Okay. Eh, entonces sería, there is a beautiful and huge place. There are happy animals. <laughs> This is a mother place. This is a mother place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, Vaya, ¿quién más? Dele. I work at the zoo. And here, there are a lot of trees. There are different animals. There are different birds. There is a river. There is a vegetation. There is a beautiful and huge place. There are happy animals. And this is a mother place. Hey, some. For John, I go to the zoo. They, there, there is a lot of trees. A mí me cuesta pronunciar la palabra de árboles. Trees. There are different animals. There are eh, different birds. There are is a birds. There, there is a beautiful. Huge place. There is a hum. There is a vegetation. There is a happy animal. There is no. The this. La última. ¿Cómo es la última? This is a mother place. Solo que en la de happy animals es there are. There are, okay, thank you. There are. Okay, very, very good, actually. That is a very good description. It just trees, just see that tree. Tree. Mm-hmm. Tree. 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 Eh, can you repeat, Francisco? Eh, pronuncie tres. Número tres. Three. Y árbol. Three. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's different. It's different. Árbol is three. Mm -hmm. Y el número tres es three. So, es yeah. it. Es la diferencia. Uh -huh. So, I have, uh, I have three trees. <laughs> yeah, okay. so, three and three. They sound a little similar, but they are not. Um, la tenemos lista, right? You are ready for this. Yes. Yes, teacher. Solo me faltaba. 
Ok, so what we can do is para que todos participen, you know, pueden separárselo. So you can have just a bunch y luego la practicamos, right? So I'll give you one more minute y luego... Ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back. Uh, just let's wait a minute for the others to come. So I hope you had the opportunity like to practice a lot, to practice with your classmates. And uh, I missed you so much. Okay, <laughs> I haven't seen you like in a while. Ok, super good. Eh, antes de seguir, before like moving on, solo déjenme pasar asistencia a Carriel. Quick, quick, quick. Creo que ya todos están. I think everybody's here. All right, so let me go over attendance. So, me ayudan, please, eh, giving me confirmation. Eh, Christian. Um, Thank you, Christian. Eh, Isaac. Present. Thank you. Edith. Present. Thank you, Yasira. Uh, I think Yasira is there. Okay, Isela. Present, pero si ahí está Yasira, estaba con nosotros. Present, Isela. Ah, yes. Thank you, Yasira. <laughs> eh, Silvia. Present. Thank you, Francisco Pineda. Present, Francisco. Present. Thank you. Diana? Creo que es Diana, right? Oh, que se nos hizo Diana. Where is she? La vi hace un par de segundos. I think she was with her son. Okay. Okay, dokie. Eh, Sandra? Present. Thank you. Patricia? Present. Thank you, Herson. Present. Thank you, Madeline. Present. Thank you, Doris. Present. Thank you, Karen. Present. Thank you, Milagro. The Milagro is there, right? Ella está por ahí. She's there. Yes. Thank you, Milagro. Uh, Wendy? Present. Thank you. Uh, Murcia, Mr. Murcia? Present. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Thank you very, very much. Let me find one. Oh, there she is. Hi, Diana. Yeah, ahí está. 
Okay, nice. Okay, everybody. <laughs> so thank you, thank you so much, Diana. Okay, Diana, you are going to help us a lot. Tell me, give me a color, please. Diana, cualquier color. Tell me a color. Yellow. Yellow. Uh, okay, so no voy a usar la ruleta, but we are going to go over colors. Isela es la única que le veo un poquito de yellow. Orange, but anyway. <laughs> okay, so Isela, let's start with you. <laughs> okay, comencemos con su grupo. Let's start with your group. What do you have? <laughs> okay, Francisco. So in here there are a lot of tree there are different animals there are there are different bird there is a river there is a vegetation there is a beautiful place there are happy animals Ooh. there is a modern place Yes, it is. Okay. There is quiet atmosphere. Only that's it. Ah, okay. That yes, is. excellent. Very good job. Nice. I really love the description you made about the place. Super, super good. Very good use of vocabulary. So I think it's super good. I like what Yasira said, a quiet atmosphere. So it's como muy tranquilo, right? Well, there is a quiet atmosphere. Good. Thank you. Uh, Isela, I'm going to give you the chance. Seleccione el siguiente, el siguiente grupo. <laughs> Select okay. next person. Te solo bien, Isela. Ahorita a mí. <laughs> Por color, no. Uh, no, no. Por nombre. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go by name. Person. <laughs> <laughs> hey, person. <laughs> Oh. Okay, Herson, go, 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 go. Herson, okay. Diana, and Chris, right? <laughs> Herson, and Diana. Uh, we, yes, yes. But, uh, okay. Well, uh, we work with uh, Christian and, and, what is her name? Um, Di Diana. Uh, Diana. <laughs> Diana. Diana. Diana in a farm it, the name is happy chicken yeah entonces <laughs> eh, we raise the animals chicken cow and pigs eh, there are a lot of chicken there are a lot of beef a lot of eh, con, concentrado con ¿Cómo se dice? Concentrado. Concentrate. Como, concent, concentrate. <laughs> concentrate. Eh, there are a uh, dirty, eh, dirty, dirty place because the animals eh, andan de por ahí, por allá. <laughs> you can say Entonces, animal poop. Animals poop. Animals poop. Uh -huh. Animals poop for uh, for all farm. For <laughs> all everywhere. Okay, it's a bad. Bad is a good word because uh, we love the we love the animals. Diana, uh, it's a it's a bed. It, it, she's a bed and tail and. She take care of the animals. Ay, that's um, very good. Uh -huh. Christian, Diana, what else? Clean what else? the poop. <laughs> 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 Christian, okay. clean the poop of animals. <laughs> and, okay. Let's let's uh, also uh, listen to, to Christian and Diana to what they okay. have to say. Uh -huh, guys, defend yourselves. <laughs> okay. Because I I am I I. Uh, me estoy inventando ahorita. Yeah, I know. Because, because a little time or a short time, do you 
gave us. Oh, yes, I know, I know. So let's listen to, to Diana and Christian, what they also can, can okay. add. Uh, to the to the happy chicken. Okay, like, <laughs> nice ya lo di, very nice. Ya lo dijo todo, Gerson. Like Gerson said, like Gerson said, and we produce we produce our food, and the farmer there are a lot of eggs. Uh, there is a lot of milk, and there are there is a lot of meat. Okay, okay, super good. So you have chicken and cows. Okay, very good. And pigs. Oh, and pigs as well. Okay, yes. pigs as well. Diana, what else? What else can you add with the reason there are? Todo lo dijo Gerson. So, uh, inventese uno. Try to make up some, make up some. Imagine this is a farm. ¿Qué más puede they, ver? What else can you see? They are chickens, they are cows, they are three, they are mm, there is a wonderful place. Okay, super good. So it is a wonderful uh, place. Also, there is fresh air. Don't you think? Solo de verlo, I mean, there is fresh air. So you can, you can breathe fresh air. Thank you guys, very nice job. That was very, very good. Diana, select next person, select next. Como? Gabriela, por nombre. Sí, Gabriela. No, you, Gabriela. Por nombre. Está Gabriela? Can, but, por nombre, por número. No está, Gabriela. No está. Name. Ah, the pues, name is okay. The name is good. No, oh, Gabriela es nice. Número. Ah, otra, por no. número. No, the name. The name. You can Francisco, name. Francisco, Francisco. Francisco. Ya pasó. <laughs> There are two friends. Ya pasó. Murcia or Pineda. Sí, Pineda. Pineda ya pasó. Pineda, ya estuvo. Es que no lo es que no lo veo, no lo veo a todos. Quiero ver, espera, espera, espera. Isaac. Es que no lo veo a todos, solo veía tres. No, but okay, Murcia, let's go with Murcia. So that was Murcia who was in your group, Edith, right? And Silvia. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, super good. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I'm going to share my screen. Let's take a look. And this is their picture. Okay, guys, we listen to you. Um, the place is a recreative area. And there is a building. There is a uh, windows in the buildings. There is a uh, tree tree. There is a uh, playground. There is a uh, lot of people. There is a uh, lamp. Okay. okay. There is there is a big sky, a cloud, and there is a lot of person. There are, excuse me, uh, there is um, a bridge large and there, there, are, there are some chairs and tables and there are, there are, there is a beach only. All right, super good. Silvia, do you have anything else? Uh, Silvia, you are in mute. I don't know if she could hear me. Yes. Okay, there, there is a bridge. There is a relaxed place. Yes. There is a playground. There is a baby car carriage. Okay. Okay. 
and there is a big garden. That's it. Okay, very nice, very nice, guys. So, uh, okay, so this sounds pretty good, very good use of vocabulary, okay? And I like your description. So just remember, this is a bridge, all right? Un puente, so this is a bridge, all right? También el de los dientes is called a bridge, okay? <laughs> all right, so uh, let's, uh, 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 I'm missing, I'm missing a group. Next activity. So, Next activity, I'm missing you girls. Okay, but wait, wait, I'm going to ask you for something later. I am missing this one. So this is a uh, Madeline and I'm missing this one. This is Carolina's group, but give me just a minute because we are going to move for just one more activity and it's going to take a little longer. This is going to be your task of today. All right, vamos a escribir. We are going to write a little bit. It says here, eh, let me see. Karen, please, me ayuda a leer. Can you help me read? Hey. Hi, son. What a fantastic holiday. We, we are in Rio de Janeiro. It's the most beautiful city in Brazil. It's located in the northeast of the country, but is not the capital the capital of Brazil is Brasilia. In Rio, there are beautiful beach. At the moment, we are in the Concorbado. The view is amazing. Amazing. Ama amazing. We are at the Copacabana Palace, Palace Hotel. The most traditional in the city, I love Rio. See you soon, Julie. Yes, very good pronunciation. Nice, Karen. That was very, very good. Nice pronunciation. So this is an example of like a postcard, all right? Cuando le enviamos a alguien una descripción de a place, all right? Where we are, general information, etc. What I want you to do is to make all right, something very similar. You can choose a city, you can choose a country, okay? And of course, si tienen una picture, so you can share your picture. Pueden buscarla rapidito, right? And it says here, hi Sam. Esto es como el orden, right? Hi Sam, hi Milagro, hi Wendy. And then what a fantastic holiday, what a fantastic country, what a beautiful country. So podemos describirlo as much as we can. It's the most beautiful city. Uh, it is, there are beautiful beaches. So there are beautiful beaches here. The view is amazing. The view is, otras palabras que se les ocurren en vez de amazing? The, the view is, the view is good. The view is amazing. Fantastic. The view is fantastic. Uh-huh, the view is awesome all right so the view is awesome um, and so we can describe it piensen en un lugar donde le gustaría ir think about a place where you would like to go all right and hagamos una descripción like super quick for example what a fantastic country i am in france i am in the i don't know in the tower in france it is the most beautiful place in the world so vamos solamente a cambiarle cositas all right Eh, voy a darle alrededor de cinco minutos. You can, no es necesario que la hagan así de extensa. You can make it shorter. La podemos hacer más cortita. All right. And agreguemos lugares que le gustaría visitar de ese país. All right. From that country or that city. Eh, try to use as much vocabulary as possible. Todos los adjetivos que puedan. All right. So it's noisy, dirty, uh, messy modern, okay, crowded, etc. So five minutes. Teacher. Yes, Teacher. Milagro. A nosotros no nos puso a describir a Soyapango. <laughs> no, I know, I know. I'm missing Soya. Uh, Milagro's group, that was Madeline, right? So Milagro's group had Soyapango City. Y me faltan, así que no worries. And Carolina's group have the beach, así que también me faltan. Don't worry. 
pero ah, significa que van a hacer una presentación súper, súper cool. Así que, no <risa> Milagro la tiene lista ya la de nosotros. Oh. Ah, okay. Por nosotros no so, se preocupe, Tichi. So, at the end of the class. Ay, no se preocupe. <risa> <risa> ok, at the end of the class, you are going to be my, the graduation of the, of the session for today. All right, so. Think about a country, think about a place. ¿A dónde le gustaría ir? Where would you like to go? Which country would you like to visit? If, if, imagine that uh, you are traveling porque la empresa les ha dado la oportunidad de ir, you know? Imagine that you're going because you are a super good employee. Y la empresa les quiere reconocer la oportunidad. Y les quiere reconocer el largo trabajo, you know. And los van a hacer a capacitación. Y sending you to a training, to a workshop. Or vacation. We never know. So imagine, what country would it be? Um, so, give me, uh, when you finish, please don't forget to give me your confirmation. Done, finished, just to know. Um, guys, just a, a little commercial. Um, I know that the material may not be here in the platform, pero les compartí ahora el documento completo. So you can take a look at the document and you can have it in your cell phone. Uh, por si acaso alguien lo quiere descargar, so you have it in WhatsApp. You can take a look at it.
Are we ready? Ready, almost ready. Do you need one minute, two minutes? I Three ready. minutes. <laughs> All right, thank you. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, Milagro. Eh, cuando uno dice I lord of, pero cuando eh, lleva una S, este lord, 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 y lleva una S. Como lots. Lots of. Uh -huh. Así se pronuncia, lot of. Yes, there are lots of. Ah, oh, ok. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre lot of o lots of? Okay. Mm, this one. There is a lot of um, sugar. There are lots of eggs. So the difference is this. This is plural. Uy, this is plural and we use lots of. This is singular and we use there is a lot of. Teacher, yes, yes, Ira. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Se lo voy a este W O U L D. Wood. Let me let me write it down. I don't know if the word is wood. Mm. This one, uh, just it. Wood. It's correct, teacher. Wood. Good. Mm -hmm. Wood. Good. So I'll give you one more minute because I see some people still working on this. So one minute, one minute, guys. Okay, everybody. So, uh, are we all finished? Is everybody done? I see you almost ready. Done, done, done. Yes. Okay, guys. So, only 10 more minutes. We are missing 13 more minutes. We are going to um, end up just with two more activities and we finish today's class. Thank you, Wendy, for the confirmation. Very good. I'm going to change groups because I want you to practice with more people. So give me just a second. Okay, so we are going to tell our classmates what you have, okay? I want you to yes, tell them what you have. What is your postcard? ¿Qué dice? What is the place? And what can you find in this place? So I will give you like a couple of minutes. Okay, there we go. Um, Okie dokie. Okay, everybody. So join the groups. Please get in the groups. 
Five more minutes y luego regresamos. Then we come back. So five minutes, five minutes. Okay, the groups, everybody, join the groups. Let's get in there, get in there, get in there. Teacher. Teacher. Tell me. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't activate. No lo podía activar. Dígame. Tell me, Milagro. Teacher, la palabra glamour. ¿Esa palabra ya está en inglés? O, o glamour. Yes, that is an English word. Así es, en yes. inglés, glamour. Yep. Remember. Hay muchas palabras de inglés que ya las usamos en español. Entonces, glamour is one of them. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yes, you are so welcome. <laughs> Hi, Miss. Hi, Miss. Uy, 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 I can't. Hi, Diana. Hola, ¿me escucha? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I can hear you. Eh, ay, ay, que está intro, está horrible. No se preocupe, pero es que, nos, I mean, nosotros le escuchamos. I can listen to you. Pero creo que usted no nos escucha bien. But no worries. La idea es always try to practice. Eh, Okay. So, le voy, a, le voy a compartir la invitación para que se una a un grupo. I'm going to send you the invitation para que podamos practicar eh, cuatro o cinco minutitos máximo. All right. So, go, 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 go. And white, no, and blue beach in in Honduras, it locat, locate in the Caribbean, but it not the capital, the capital of Tegucigalpa. In Roatan, there are clean waters. If you can practice fish, dive, uh, it the most the most traditional in the place is is uh, for the corals and white sand bank. Very nice. All right. Super, super good job. Sorry to interrupt. Hey, Karen, I like your description. That's a very nice description of the of the of the island, right? So Roatan is an island. Very nice. I like it. Very good vocabulary too. Sorry, Wendy, to interrupt. Digo, yo al mío. Okay. Uh, what a fantastic vacation. I am in Grecia. Uh, it is a wonderful place. There is an awesome sea. There are a lot of beautiful views. Uh, there are a lot of relaxing places in clean cities. I love Grecia. I love it. That is super, super good. I like it. And I love Greece as well. Would you like to go to Greece? Would you like to go? Me gustaría ir. Would you like to go today? Yes. <laughs> Super nice. Someday, someday, don't worry. Algún día, someday we will go. <laughs> okay. Hello, <laughs> Guru and Jasira. Who is next? Uh, I am teacher. I would uh, like to go to see Spain. I would uh, like to go to Madrid to visit the study in go. Caminar, ¿cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Walk. Walk. Uh-huh. Yes. So 
Ay, teacher. So you would like to go to Madrid. Sí. Ah. Why? Why? Describe the place. Agreguémosle un poquito de descripción. Su descripción está súper, súper bien, Yacira. Solo agreguémosle un poquito de como more adjectives, ¿ok? So more adjectives. Beautiful, huge, enormous. Agregámosle como un poquito más, a little bit more. Uh -huh. Lo vemos okay, súper bien, súper, súper bien. Ok, los dejo trabajar un ratito. I'll be back in a... Uh, um, wonderful place. It's located U U USA. Has many character. I like to meet a uh, Mickey Mouse, the Little Mermaid, Ariel, and Rapunzel. It, it was a trip beautiful with my family. That's it. Okay. Sorry, Yo sorry, hecho como una. sorry to jump in. Solo escuché un pedacito. What is the place? <laughs> Disney. Oh, okay. So the oh yes, yes. I would like to go to Disney. <laughs> what about uh, you guys? También. I, I would love to. Yo lo hice como carta. Ah, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Hi, Paola. What a fantastic travel. We're in France. It's the most beautiful. We went to Paris, capital of France. We enjoy, enjoy the Eiffel Tower. Every moment was fantastic. See you soon, Isela. Nice. Okay, so I like it. Especially because France is very romantic. The food is awesome. Uh -huh. So very nice. I like your description. That's super good. Silvia, you go next, Silvia. Ya se me está durmiendo. All right, Silvia, go for it. <laughs> the location is, see, is the equal the Isela. France too. Paris, France. Paris. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, Paris is the capital of France. It's located in the north of France. Has three parks. They are having the two two areas. They are in Luxembourg and they are in the plants. Paris is next to the city of London. And that's it. Okay, okay, very good. So you included different information, like the, um, that there are three parks. Okay, okay, that is very nice. Uh, Isaias, ya escucharon a Isaias, uh, uh, Isaac, my goodness, Isaias. Isaac, have you heard Isaac? Yeah. Ah, okay, so you finished, right? Y de hecho ya casi es hora. Okay, okay, bless you, you, bless you. So everybody, retornemos. I'm talking very excited in mute. <laughs> okay, everybody. So nice, nice. Now, thank you so much for coming back. Uh, we are about to finish. We have only three minutes here. So to get it started, I'm going to use today my roulette because no escuchado a todos. I haven't heard a lot of you today. And to get it started, I'm going to select my... <laughs> oh, Yasira, pensé que iba a ser Isela. Okay, Yasira, hi, uh, Yasira. Uh, please tell us about your place. What is the place you selected? <clears throat> I, I go to like city, Spain. I about a specific Madrid to get to... No sé cómo se pronuncia... Tell us, tell us, acá le ayudamos, no worries. Todos le quieren eh, ayudar. K-N-O-W. K-N-O, ah, to know, to know. Was very long, longer 
stadium, a text the picture in the different place. Nice, nice. Very good description. Thank you. That's super good. Guys, give emojis to Yasira. Come on. Use your emojis. Hay nuevos. Use them. Nice. Eso Thank you, Yasira. No Very important. No, ah, creo que tiene que actualizar. <laughs> you have to update it. Yeah. ¿Ya vieron los nuevos? Have you seen the new emojis? No. No, no, no. Oh. Hay corazón, carita riendo. Only clap. And only... Sorprendido. No. ¿Cuándo los actualizó y se la... Salieron, new. no sé, salió la actualización cuando terminamos, eh, que yeah. cerramos la aplicación, de ahí dice si queremos actualizar y ahí... Mm -hmm. Yeah, ah, they are new. Wow, okay. la aplicación, yo uso Zoom online. No, but, but try to, try to up, update uh -huh. it. Ahí yes. aparece. No, Doris. pero... Es... Yeah, yo creería que Only sí. Doris, Doris, Doris. Are Doris. you here, Doris? Sí, ahí está. Doris. I am here. <laughs> okay, Doris, let's listen to yours. Okay. I want to visit Apple Tower. Because there are a lot of uh, delicious restaurants, and there is a huge lake in the night. There are a lot of lights. Also, there are a lot of visitants, and this place is very crowded. Excellent. Super good description. I like the use of the vocabulary. I heard words like crowded, busy, nice. I like it. Thank you, Doris. That was super, super good. Excellent. Guys, give emojis to her. <laughs> Let me see. Yes, I can use, yeah, we can use different emojis. Super, super good. Nice, that was really good. Um, unfortunately, guys, our time is over, all right? So very nice job today. Eh, tomorrow, vamos a trabajar un poquito con preposiciones, así que please don't miss classes. That's super important. No lo hemos cubierto yet, but we will do it tomorrow. Eh, solamente dos cositas. First, tenemos one-on-one -on -one con Milagro. Comenzamos con Milagro. Then, a las 10 con 10, llevo con, eh, ahorita le digo, con Wendy y luego tenemos a Murcia. So, eh, Murcia, si gusta, a las 10.30 se puede conectar. You can do it at 30. Now, my second, eh, just coming here. Please, chicos, eh, ayúdenme con lo de la nota de satisfacción. No me la vayan a completar todavía, please, porque hay un par de cositas bien específicas. Eh, lo, hagamos, lo hacemos hasta el viernes, all right? So, me esperan hasta el viernes. Yo sé que la curiosidad nos mata a veces, you know? pero, pero sí es importante que lo hagamos todos juntos, please. Así que me esperan hasta el viernes. Gracias a todos. Thank you so much. Have a great night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, 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 bye. bye. Uh, Milagro, eh, se conecta a la otra. Miren, please. You can connect to the other one. Bye, bye, bye. Teacher. Yes. Francisco? Oh, Francisco se fue. <laughs> okay. Mío, teacher. Yes, mi No sé cómo conectarme. Um, ¿Está desde la computadora o está en el teléfono? Sí, en la compu. Bye. Voy a cerrar esta o usted puede salirse, right? Dele en finalizar. Uh -huh. Cuando usted ingresa, le aparecen en las reuniones dos. Le aparece una que dice sesión privada. ¿La ha visto? Me aparece una donde dice clases. Clase, la clase del día. Y arriba me aparece... Eh... Le muestro. Deme un segundito. Eh, le comparto mi pantalla. Tendría que ver algo similar. Ok, cuando usted ingresa, le va a aparecer eso. Ve mi pantalla. Pero veo la ruleta. No. Permítame, permítame, permítame. Eh, es que no sé si lo va a lograr ver. Mm. 
No, deme un segundo. No sé si lo va a lograr ver porque es parte de su... Ahorita sí. le voy a decir a mi hijo que me ayude. Es que tengo que conectarme a una sesión privada, pero no Ve, sé cómo hacerlo. Lo, ¿Logra ver ahorita en mi pantalla? Hola. Hola. Hola, Milagro. ¿Logra ver, logra ver esto? ¿Logra ver la parte de Zoom? No. no la solo... Y la ruleta sí se ve. Entonces, no. No la puede ver. Bueno, eh, ahorita que colguemos, Milagro... Cuando usted entra, va a haber una que dice clases, ¿verdad? El grupo que es G2C, etcétera. Pero va a haber otra que dice sesión privada. Entonces, se, se, solamente le da clic y unir lo mismo. Si no ah, puede, vale. me avisa en WhatsApp y le comparto el link. Ok, Oiga. okay. bueno, está bien. Está bien, Tichi. Ok, sí. 